John Evelyn started writing his diary, keeping his diary. He, his father apparently had kept his diary, a, a diary, so he followed suit. Uh, so he started when he was quite a, a, a teenager, actually. And he looked back at his at, at the early part of his life, and he kept his diary for his long, long life. He died at the age of 86, so it's, it's a, it is a very long diary. Sometimes it has absolutely fascinating pieces of, it has fascinating little snippets in it. And of course it's such, it's a record of a time, so he, he's recording the Restoration, the Civil War, um, the, uh, the Great Fire of London, the Plague, and then the, what uh, is now described as the Glorious Revolution. Pepys started his diary in the last day of 1659, and, and no doubt it was the restoration of Charles II, which was just taking place, which, uh, which made him think, this, these are wonderful times, I really want to record these. But his diary uh, is full of information that we can find from nowhere else. So he kept it for nine years, um, it, and then he gave it up in 1669 uh, because he's, he was worried about his eyesight. He kept it in shorthand as opposed to the long hand that Evelyn wrote in. And uh, uh, I presume, we, we presume, that he didn't want other people to know about it. He certainly never mentions it. Uh, and it has some extraordinary um, intimate things in it which do not redound entirely to Pepys's credit like his sexual encounters and sometimes treating people not quite as kindly as he might do.